Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to show you how to clean aluminum exhaust ports. You see how it's got the carbon buildup? You're gonna, we're going to clean this carbon buildup and get the head. That's the gasket material and a little bit of carbon buildup. This isn't heavy. So I'm going to show you here. This is um, before and over here is after. Now this is baby smooth all the way across. There's no grooves or nothing in here, nicks or how I did it. It comes out just like that. And as also, I used it on this too as well, and everything came out good. So I'm going to show you how I did it. It takes you about five minutes to clean these exhaust ports out. This is double aught buck, or quadruple buck. But watch this, how work, well this works. And you're not going to hurt anything. This is very porous. This isn't, you know, this is fine. You know what I mean? You're going to have to rub it several times. But afterwards, you're going to feel nothing. You know what I mean? Even if there might be minute remnants. Let me show you how it's going to turn out, this joker. This joker is going to look awesome. I love cleaning stuff and doing stuff myself. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? You can make you stuff look beautiful and new. You know what I mean? You don't have to kill yourself or beat yourself up or get some kind of buffer where you're going to eat up into the aluminum. I'm going to show you how this is going to be. And this ain't going to hurt you. This ain't going to hurt it. Look, feel, feel nothing. It's smoothed everything off awesome. And like I say, I've just started. And this is not going to hurt the material at all this is not going to cut or into the material it's super fine it's not super coarse you know what i'm saying it's not going to hurt anything let me show you here there's nothing eaten into here that's just like and like if I go on a different pattern up and down and then side to side, like I say, it even takes that away. But as you can see, there's the other half of the side I didn't do. And there's this half I just did. And it'll all turn out beautiful. Even this top area here, you can hit this top area. And you don't have to worry or be concerned. That's what I hit it with. I didn't put a buffer. I don't believe on using the buffer on heads and stuff like that. Because you take hundred thousandths of an inch with that buffer. You don't realize how fast stuff is going. So, you know, when I get done with these, they will be immaculate. You know, I'm going to get them cleaned right. But I'm just here showing you guys half that head. And I hadn't gone all the way. But here on this one, you can really see, I spent about five minutes. I can get it perfect, you know what I mean? But that is baby smooth all the way across. There is no remnants at all, and that's perfect to just add a gasket and silicone on both sides. That's what I like to do. I like to seal them up one time and be done with them or get Percy's. So like, subscribe, and share. And this is what you can use to clean up aluminum or other heads and take exhaust or debris and not use something that's too abrasive and still have a nice smooth texture afterwards. Nothing rough, nothing you can feel, nothing that ate into. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, and share. And as always, keep on dreaming.